Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing on this brand new Chefman espresso machine, Barista Pro, model number RJ54-V2. I just bought this at Walmart. It just showed up there a couple weeks ago. It retails for $129. I'll be doing three videos. The first video will be an unboxing. I'll go over the dimensions and everything that comes in the box. Second video will be set up. Third video will be detailed and I'll make some lattes and cappuccinos with the espresso machine. Okay, we got the, we open it up. We've got the, looks like two instruction manuals. So I always suggest laying things on their sides and then pulling them out onto the table so nothing falls off onto the side. Okay, so yeah, this black, there's this white thing could fall out, so be careful. Okay, so here's everything that comes in the box. It's got this milk frother in a separate container. Looks like a tamper and a scoop. You've got your portafilter, single shot and double shot filter. We've got a user guide and a quick start guide. So the left side, look, this thing looks really nice. So front to back, it's only about 11 and a half inches. Side to side's about eight and a half. It's not very tall at all, only about 12 inches tall. So the front of it looks really nice. Looks like we got a drip tray of some sort. We come around, it's got this water tank in the back. It lifts off. Looks like we got a little filter down there. No cord storage. So the cord is two prong and it's 34 inches long. On the right side, looks like we've got like a push button, power button. And if I tilt it over, this is where it's gonna brew the espresso shot. That's like plastic. There's your water head. This is where the milk frother attaches. On the bottom, we've got these four rubber feet. It says it's 1,350 watts. Okay, so let's take a look at this drip tray. Not sure if that comes off or not. Not sure if that comes off or not. I'm trying to take it off. It doesn't want to come off. So, so the drip tray fits fits down in that hole nice. Let's look at the porta filter. It's a little different design. It's got a screw that looks like it can come apart. This looks like plastic. There's a plastic thing down there. Here's the double shot. So I was looking at this going, well, where's the, man, there's a little bitty hole right there. Wow. I can't believe it's all going to come out that little hole right there, but, hmm. Interesting. And there's this, it says one cup and it's got the little bitty hole right there. Huh. And I don't see there's any way of taking that apart. So these fit. They kind of, they, they, they fall out really easy, but it does have this holder. This little thing comes over and holds the cup. So if you got to get the puck out, this is all plastic. Here's the tamper. This is all plastic. Does it fit? Yeah. Got some room around there. Scoop. Okay, let's look at the milk frother. It looks like we've got like an adjustment, standard, extra froth. We can move this. It's got this lever that comes out. That's where the froth is gonna come out. I'm not sure if that comes apart or not. We'll have to check on that. We got this tube. Definitely gonna wanna clean things out. There's, looks like some manufacturing stuff in it. This thing really mimics the Mr. Coffee Cafe Barista. <laughs> it looks almost identical. Got some lines on the front to remove tilt up and pull froth reservoir, pull froth, to insert tilt down. So it looks like that comes out. Oh yeah, it does come out. Huh. So you can just pull that out. That makes cleaning pretty easy. Okay, so let's practice putting the milk frother in. OK, 
Okay, so getting the milk frother in is a little tricky. Yeah, there, it's, it doesn't just slide in. It's a little tricky. All right. There, we've got the milk frother in. Let's see how the porta filter goes in. Start way over there. It gets, it gets pretty tight. Then it looks like we've got about uh, five, four and three quarters. Four and three quarters up to there. But that's not very wide down here. That's only maybe two and three quarter inches wide. And we can tilt this in so it froths into the cup. Let's take a look. It's got this quick start guide. Looks lots of pictures. Lots of diagrams. Looks like I'll be reading all of that. And we've got the user guide. Looks like a pretty nice user guide. I'll know more when I read it, but at least it's got good pictures, operating instructions. Okay, I've got it, I've got it plugged in. I'm gonna turn the, there's a switch on the side. It's a really nice display. Wow. That is a very, it almost looks fake. It's a very nice looking display. Looks like it's touch. I don't want to start touching buttons. I'm gonna. I have. I got to read the instructions and do the setup. So the box says it's got one touch operation. Brew single and double. Integrated cup warming. Okay, yeah. So that's probably gonna warm the cup up here. Removable water reservoir. Easy to clean. BPA free. So check out my next video. I'm gonna be doing the setup procedure, and then after that, I'll actually be brewing some espresso and some cappuccinos. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.